Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I wanna to show you the redox reaction between magnesium and potassium nitrate. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is a welding blanket on a cart, my ring stand, this is a clay crucible. I'm using a blast shield. This is an equal amount of magnesium and potassium nitrate. And I'm using an extendable plasma wand, gloves, and eye protection. Once you have an equal portion of potassium nitrate and magnesium, you're going to mix them back and forth using the diaper method. And so I'm gonna put both of them in one beaker and then I'm just gonna pour them back and forth like this. This is called the diaper method for mixing and that way you don't um, press on it with a mortar pestle because this is very sensitive to shock. So you don't wanna grind these together you just want to pour them back and forth like this until you have a nice, even mixture. It looks like that. And you're ready to add your mixture to your crucible. And the activation energy that we're going to use for this reaction will come from an extendable plasma wand. But, um, we can extend so we can be at a safe distance from the reaction. Okay, here we go. Oh, great reaction. <laughs> okay, here's what we're left with, magnesium nitrate. It's an inorganic white salt that you see. Here's the balanced equation for this redox reaction with the oxidation states written above. We start with two moles of potassium nitrate. That's the 2KNO3 and magnesium Mg. When we carefully mix those together, we get the products magnesium nitrate, MgNO3, and potassium K. If you look carefully at the reactants, you can see that magnesium is being oxidized. Its oxidation state changes from a zero to a plus two as it loses two electrons. In the same sense, you can see that potassium is being reduced as it gains electrons in this redox reaction. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.